mean, the, the, in a way, those are kind of two separate things. Um, but I'm sure there's a connection between them. Um, but I have to kind of go through them separately, and I'll figure out the connection as I go. Improvisation um, as a musical practice or a musical expression is as old as the human being is because it is about, I think, um, you know, surviving, moving toward thriving. That we're all improvising all the time, every day. I'm improvising right now as I answer your question. You know, um, you're improvising like you come over to my place and where should I put a camera and, you know, all that stuff. So that it's not like this great mysterious thing that's impossible to do or that's really challenging. <laughs> Listening is so important. Like a good improviser is not the drunk guy at the table that's talking through everything. A good improviser hears everything that's going on at all times and makes his or her artistic choices from that. Uh, that is it. It's like a great improviser is a great listener, more than they're a great instrument. You know, listening is a big part of that, but it's also really caring for the outcome of the musicians and wanting everybody to feel good about their contribution. Um, and then, of course, practice. There's, there's an issue of mastering your instrument, which I don't think anyone my age can really do. I mean, it's a matter of getting to know your instrument, getting to know its capabilities, getting to know what, what, the, what, uh, what the sonic palette is. And then after that, it's a matter of figuring out what can I do, what's within my, what's within my, my realm of knowledge to accomplish. You have to release yourself. You have to accept yourself. Because many people try to improvise and they think it's not good. But it's not good. I mean, that's the way that you do. You have to accept it. Then, of course, you know, well, just keep doing. So you will get the place where you want. Eventually. Improvisation is uh, its an avenue toward, if one really studies deeply, toward understanding oneself. We had these four pathways that we're exploring throughout my residency at YBCA, and one of them is really um, uh, nurturing youth, nurturing young musicians and young listeners. I'd say that working with Myra was one of the most, it was, it was brief but it was very intense and probably one of the most enriching educational experiences I've had. Uh, mainly because in contrast to a lot of teachers uh, I'd had up to that point, she was very open-minded and very direct about her interest in engaging with uh, the students' uh, individual senses of creativity. There you go. Let's see what you can find on the inside there. She's the first teacher I had who actually taught improvisation uh, as a craft rather than as something that's sort of like adjunct to jazz studies or adjunct to general music studies. And that was something really new to me and I think also still very valuable. I'm going to play you one note and uh, then we'll all play that one note together. And I'm going to add a note. When, when I first moved to the Bay Area uh, in, 
well, I mean, one guy that stands out is the Bishop Norman Williams, who's passed away. But he was a great bebop alto saxophone player. And when I first hit the Bay Area, I just went to every one of his gigs until I was on his gigs sometimes, you know. Him and uh, uh, B.J. Papa, the piano player. Later on, a great bass player, Herbie Lewis, that is on some of those classic Blue Note records. Um, those guys, I mean, they were so generous with their time and their knowledge, and I learned so much. And now I'm old, and uh, so it's my time. I come from an experience where, you know, we we were we were in an environment with some of the the really the pioneers of of the music, um, and those were experiences that were that shaped the 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 type of musician I am today, right? And I. I can't speak highly enough of the, 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 the necessity for that for young developing musicians.